هذا كلام السياسيين مو كلام المواطن ناس تعبت طائفيه يعني اصعب من السلاح الفاتك اللي هو الكيماوي والنووي Look, I would never support anything I thought was wrong out of some blind loyalty to the US. I am quite sure, I think most people are, that he has these weapons and that the people in the documentation exist to show that. You know, there's always been something bizarre about the notion that Saddam never had any weapons of mass destruction. I mean, we had a 12-year history with the UN for a reason. As I've said constantly to you, I believe the intelligence we received is correct. The decision I had to take was Given Saddam's history, given his use of chemical weapons, given the over one million people whose deaths he caused, given, given 10 years of breaking UN resolutions, could we take the risk of this man reconstituting his weapons programs? I still believe it was right um, to remove Saddam. Uh, we sometimes forget now what the regime was actually like and, and the devastation it caused not just within his own country but in the region and the wider world. I took a decision I, I thought to be right but I apologise for the fact that the intelligence we received was, was wrong but I find it hard to apologise for removing Saddam. I think even from today in 2015 it is better that he's not there than that he is there. I would take the same decision, I was back in the same place with the same information, I would take the same decision and obviously that's the decision I believe was right. Butler would not point the finger at Blair. We knew Butler would not point the finger at any government minister. We think it is time that government ministers now admitted they were wrong, that they apologised, but more importantly they stand aside for somebody else who will withdraw the troops from Iraq and who will pledge not to start wars at the behest of George Bush. These two men have caused the deaths, if you believe The Lancet, the journal of the British Medical Association and the Johns Hopkins University, of almost three quarters of a million people. That's a very, very big pool of blood. That's a very, very big mass grave. And if the accurate prediction that that would turn out to be so is to be held against one, then that would compound what I think is a real problem in this country. You see. The only person in the BBC who actually told the truth was Andrew Gilligan and he got sacked. The man who backed him, Greg Dyke, the Director General, stood by his man and got sacked. Gavin Davis stood by his DG and got sacked. Uh, uh, Piers Morgan in the mirror got sacked. I got sacked. The people that uh, were right about Iraq, who stood up and told people what they needed to hear, have been marginalized, traduced, ridiculed. The former Labour Prime Minister was given the highest ranking of knighthood in the New Year's Honours list by the Queen. The announcement has seen fierce backlash, with Green MSP Ross Greer saying Blair deserves a trial at The Hague rather than a knighthood. It has also led to a petition on change.org to have the honour taken from the former Prime Minister.